All right, guys, I guess it's right at or just a tad after or 1030. Let's go ahead and uh, get to the next thing. Everybody see the screen I'm presenting? I don't. I just see a yeah. camera my shot. That's fine. Um, but what I, this here's the schedule. I think most people have seen it um, if you've already been on. But here's the next thing, which is, hey, don't do uh, physical stuff if you're not game and healthy to do physical stuff. That's that disclaimer. You've seen them before. I'm going to assume that you have plenty of time to read this. And the next one is a legal disclaimer. Nobody's asking you to do anything to hurt you. And if you do hurt yourself, it's on you. All that good stuff. Please be responsible and smart. Um, next, a couple of helpful tips as we go through this. Please stay on mute. You might even want to mute your camera, you know, turn off your camera so that we have more bandwidth. Um, it seems like it's not a problem, but that's sometimes suggested. I suggest that you pin the instructor. The next instructor is Bruce Chu. Uh, he's stick on your uh, screen here. And then ask questions in chat. Um, and then turn on closed captions because you'll be able to see things a little better. Uh, it's handy if you've got uh, a computer, you can turn on closed captions. And then lastly, Bruce, um, it's almost over to you. What I want to say is, uh, finish maybe a few minutes early and you can make any announcements or share anything or ask questions, those kind of good things. See if people have questions of you. So here's Bruce's intro screen. He's a founder of Arnice International. He's been a supporter of this event since for all as well. It's a, it's our local event that we've opened up to the world since we're online. Uh, and he's moved away down to Florida, which is nice, but he's uh, still uh, uh, seeing fit to uh, play with his friends up here. So anyway, I'll turn it over to you, Bruce. Thanks very much. Hey, Ty, thank you. Could you please do me a favor and give me a five-minute mark? Because I can't look at the clock because my clock is my phone and my phone is my camera. Sure, will do. Uh, also, check with your physician before doing this or any other uh, physical activity. This is all done by trained professionals. Please seek proper instruction before attempting any of the techniques you see. That's a load of crap, isn't it? Anyway, um, I loved what I, I saw earlier, and this is kind of big similar to that uh one of professors big tenets was if you can do it with your hand you can do it with the stick and vice versa so i'm going to show a couple of different techniques and really not as a demonstration but really instructional wise to show you how you can do this and then i want you your goal is to take this with you and the next time you're doing your favorite technique and you did it with a stick in your right hand do it with the stick in the left and see if you can do the same thing with your right hand without the stick um and, and to show you first, I'm going to show you a real basic lock off of uh, uh, if he throws, um, well, I'll show you how to tappy tappy left on right. So I'm here. I'm just going to shoot in a seven. He's going to come here. We've all been in this position before. We do things like this. So what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to shoot a low feed and step off left. We're going to scoot this way just a little bit. Then I'm just going to come down and hook with the puño of the left stick, disarm and crush him. And we can get, if I don't disarm them, right, then we just break and we're back into this. One more time. I'm here, 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 and here. All right. And so if he was to strike me uh, like a two and I have empty hand, instead of coming high, I'm going to come low. Here's the same lock. Now, this can hurt. I can twist up or I can just disarm. And if I wanted to continue, I would actually release his his uh, left hand here by lifting up on this one. And then I can feed right into here or into here. Oops. We push the pressure here on that one. But anyway, empty hand wise, again, he comes in here. How would I get him to do that? I, I, obviously, if I just if I threw here, that would be dumb, right? Because he'd just smash my hand. So I wait. I walk in to this side, so he's gonna to try to strike on this side that I'm here, if that makes sense. But that's essentially the same thing as here. When I'm here, he comes. And then why do I do it here? Because the, his most likely response is, is a, from this side of his body. Now, empty hand, it's the same, right? If we're doing trapping hands, I punch here, it's the same. I like this one when he's empty hand, because if you look here, then I'll go right into finger lock. But again, so playing Trapping hands, we're just playing. If I'm on the inside, I got to get to the outside. So watch here, the outside, instead here, here. So if you're doing whatever drill you're doing, you should be able to do it empty hand. You should be able to do it with a stick. <clears throat> oh, sorry, wrong hand. 
here, or if we're doing it with, <clears throat> if he has a knife and he attacks, I can still come here, groin shot in here, right? disarm, stab him. If it's knife on knife and he comes, I'll come this side. I come here, here, and it's the same. So any technique you do, you should be able to do with the stick or with the knife or with an empty hand or really anything. That was his whole uh, um, philosophy behind what we do. <clears throat> so just a quick review and we'll move on to the next technique. So if we're doing it from left on right, right I'm going to shoot my seven in here and here, right? If I'm doing it empty handed and he throws the stick to you, I come here and here. The important thing is I'm going to move my body off to the left so that I have the angle right. So when he strikes, I come here, right? Now from here, those of you who remember Professor, I mean, I could do elbow shock too, right? right? But I, I'm, that's not what we're doing here. This is this one, yeah? All right, so now <clears throat> that's one. So another one would be, uh, this is one that people like. So here. If I come here, I take my left hand, I just switch hands, it doesn't matter. If I start in the right, I can start in the right still. I'm gonna do basically a number two disarm. Feed the butt and lock, right? Everybody does that one. Again, if we're here, from here, I just come in here, big circle, switch hands, feed, and here. You guys all know me, I like this, because that locks them pretty good. Let's go for this side, I'll just show you. From <clears throat> Enter here, switch hands, feed it in here, right? And then I like, like I said, I like that lock because it exposes the ribs here. Now, <clears throat> likewise, so what did I do here? I took my left hand, thumb wrist entry, like a number two disarm, right? Well, we know that if he strikes here and I have the stick, that's the same thing here, right? So if I took my empty, my free hand and did this and fed here, right? So if I have this here and I do the same thing with the stick and feed here, I have this. Then I just reach up here, see? Now what I like to do here is I just brace it on my body, free my hand and punch him. But the whole purpose is, if you notice, the hand does the same thing regardless of if the stick's in it or not. And, and that's one of the keys. Right. So, so let's come here. Let's take a, a number two disarm from from or uh, backhand side from uh, Professor's system. Right. Palm up, thumb leads the way. Well, well, if he strikes me with a stick, watch. Palm is up, thumb leads the way. It's the exact same thing. So if I come here, I have the same lock, regardless if the stick's in this hand or not. It's the same. Yeah. So let's take a, let's come this way. <clears throat> let's take a number th three, all right? Palm down, thumb leads the way, all right? Well, same here, palm down, thumb leads the way. It's the same, all right? That, that's what you guys gotta remember, is that no matter what you're gonna do, if you do it with one, you can do it with the other. And it, it, it just, it's all the same, so, uh, so if he strikes a two here, right, and I come here, see, I can do this. So one more time, he strikes here, block check, speed the stick down, and I'm here. So if I'm doing it from tappy tappy, I want him to throw this side. Here it is, right. So what did I do? I did the stick here. Well, if the stick's in my left hand, and he strikes, it's the same. Now I'm here. But people go, well, how do you get there? We well, can get there any different way. Again, the, the, we always say it's off of number six or it's off of number seven. It's actually not. It's off of his delivery. I want him to throw uh, this, right, so I can do this. Well, if I want him to throw that side, how do I, I get him there? Uh, I, I could throw the seven like this right here, right? And I'm here. I could get him by, uh, let's see, I could start in my right. Feet over here, there it is, see? 
but it's the it's the the motion of the hand when he strikes my palm went here and i'm here well if i have the stick in the hand it's the same if i have uh you know what we figured out this stick is 27 years old <clears throat> if he's here and he, and he strikes it's the same here right that's the same it doesn't matter if i hold the knife the other way it's the same right or if he strikes here i could cut his hand then come or i could cut up then dive okay here that really hurts if i have the knife in this hand i can cut him here in here okay? i don't like that because i don't want to get cut but still you know here there's this arm stab you could do that so <clears throat> The big thing is take your favorite technique. If it's an empty hand technique, uh, do it with a stick and vice versa. Like I said, that, that's the really big thing. Uh, any questions or any comments right now? I can't see anything, but if anybody has, anybody want to see anything? I think uh, no questions are popping up in chat. So I think you're good until later, maybe. All three people that are watching. All right. Um, there's forty. There's forty. Yes, I'm watching you, Bruce. I'm watching you, Bruce. Wow. I'm watching too. I'm watching too. Powdered my head. Huh? All right. So, so that's the thing. Uh, You just want to make sure that you can get into whatever you're doing the other way uh, with the stick or empty hand. And that's one of the things that Professor really uh, stressed. So I had somebody ask me this the other day about uh, you know, the trappy hands, right? So we're here and we're here. And they talked about how do you do that with the stick. So again, right? I don't know if you can see that. So it's left, B, and cross. Well, <clears throat> again, you just need to slow things down in your head and think about how you got there. So basically what the, the motion was there was his wrist is in my right hand, and then I hook him with my left. Okay? So if I'm doing that, uh, let's do that. So if you watch, watch here. There it is. That's all I did. And it's the same. So again, right? I can come here. There it is. It's, it's the exact same move, whether it's, it's empty hand. If I ha he doesn't, ha he has a stick and I don't, it's the same. He strikes me, I'm here. It's all the same. Here, right? here. So those are just some of the things that, that um, I want you to practice. And, and let me know if you go to Arnese International's Facebook page, you, you take a take a video of whatever technique you're doing. If you can't figure it out, we'll help you. But really just, <clears throat> excuse me, I never get up before nine o'clock and this is now like this is super early for me. Um, so I'm not quite awake, but it's it's really all about Somebody once said, the only limitation you have is your own creativity. I guess in theory, if you, you could do this on the ground with your feet. I, I don't know. I'm not that good, but, but, but you could. So those are just some different things that uh, I wanted to show you, and I wanted you to apply everything with your uh, stick versus your empty hand. Um, let me show you this. Uh, how do I want to show you this? Okay, start here. So <clears throat> that was that was the, the main principle. Uh, the other one is once you make contact, you never want to break contact. That was one of the professor's other big principles. Uh, he used to joke. I know Chad will remember this. He would say, oh, if they grab me, it is like Christmas. Right? Because now he knew where that hand was. So 
one of the things that you can practice on if you have the ability to is if you're here, if you have the person, just have them hold their stick tight like this, right? I want you to place your stick here. Now, watch what I'm going to do here. Hand up. Is from here, I'm just going to check and then roll, right? If I'm here, I'm just going to check and roll. And the whole thing is once you make contact, you don't lose it, right? I see, and I'm going to show you a technique that involves this in a second. I see a lot of people do stuff like this. They make contact, then they come back away, right? That's okay, but sometimes shooting, professor would just shoot in. And, and the other thing is if I'm contact with my stick is one thing, contact with my hand is another, contact on both is another. So once you, so like um, six count drill, three, eight, 12, right? The whole purpose of that drill is you're always touching him somewhere, right? From here, from here. He's always touching me. I'm always touching him, right? The reason I show you that is I want to show you one of uh, my favorite techniques. Again, it's off of a, a backhand strike. He's here. From this block and check, I'm, I'm going to stay right here and just shoot, right? Now I'm going to hook, and I'm going to take this hand and bring it over here. Okay. Professor used to do that so fast. He'd be here, and then right here. From uh, this block, everybody knows that, right? I think they, they come in here. You can come in here, right? Block, here, here. You can come in off of a six. Here, here. But what makes it even more effective is if when the strike comes, you don't uh, lose contact. I'm just going to shoot right in. And then you're here. Right? Now, that helps make it tighter. Hey, Bruce. So for what it looks like from here. Oh, hey, sorry, I was doing the wrong one. Hey, Bruce. Yeah. Uh, quick question. Uh, so yeah. I hate to interrupt um, but your video is breaking up a lot, so I'm wondering if maybe you can pause at, yeah. at, at key points just in case, because it seems to work better when you're when you're stop motion. So every once in a while, I'll pause when it's really important point. That would help probably. Are you there? Okay. Okay. So. Um... From here. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. I I don't know. Can anybody hear me? Am I lost? Have I been lost? Can hear you. You're just breaking in and out. Sorry. Okay. So this is a good one, right? This is just the opposite of the other on the other side. But it all comes from being here, not losing, coming here, right? Then I just roll there. Okay, fine. So that's like, um, I know Chad will remember this too, Abanico Corto, right? Uh, on the two side, it's this. Yeah, everybody see Chris's note there? Uh, do check out uh, the Ernie's International page. Uh, Chris has been in a lot of seminars and stuff with that. And uh, there's a lot more information at Ernie's International and also on Instagram. And just so you know, um, Bruce would be part of the family. What I'm also considering is doing something like this uh, just from just for the modern Ernie's diaspora. So uh, some of the same people will be here, but we'd also get a, a whole lot of other um, people from the modern East kind of distributed family, even people hopefully that don't necessarily talk together. We'll see how that works. Um, so we might use the same format. So those of you that uh, are interested in that are more than welcome. Keep an eye out on my on my threat on my uh, Facebook. There are so many people that train with a professor and 
so many uh, people that might have seen different things. Uh, I just want to see it all. So I, I spent eight years following the professor around, got a lot out of him. Um, but what did I miss? And, and we had that same conversation with Tim before, too, Tattoo Tim. Um, I, I just want everything that he showed anybody, and then I want to, you know, make it my own and and, uh, and grow with it. So that's one of the reasons, my greedy reason for wanting to play with everybody. But the same reason that I like all the other FMA folks as well. So this event here is a good example. We've got people from everywhere from Valentua to Kelly Silistrissimo, to FCS, um, several different flavors of Prasis Brothers, uh, and not just Remy. Um, a lot of neat stuff. Some West Coast stuff. Hey, Ty. Oh, hey, you're back. Yeah, so you, those of you who know me well know that me and technology don't have a love-hate relationship. It's just a hate relationship. Uh, <laughs> so my phone overheated because of the Florida sun, and um, I actually just had to stick it in the refrigerator. Wow. Wow. Uh, I never had it say temperature warning, iPhone is too hot, and it's shut down. Oh, so yeah. I apologize you're, for that. You're too hot, Bruce. Well, that is true. It was in my back pocket. Uh, <laughs> so uh, anyway, what did I miss? Um, I do, we just pointed people to your webpage and also talked about that we'll probably do a, a, a modern ace um, worldwide kind of diaspora uh, event like this in the future. All right, cool. And uh, before I forget, um, so we have an Instagram page, Arnice underscore international. Um, and uh, I, I would love everybody to come there or Facebook page. Um, and I've had people ask me this before, too. Uh, Arnice International is not a style. My style is modern Arnice. My, my, that's just an organization that actually Jack told me to create. Um, it's just a place for people to come. It's, it's not, I don't care what style you are, because that's the big thing also about Professor. It's the art within your art, right? There is nothing that you don't do in your core art that you can't do with a stick in your hand and do the same thing. I, I don't care if it's a shito roof form or, or a white crane form or a tongue pseudo form. It, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, so uh, what else? Where are we? I don't even remember. I'm getting old. You were uh, you were tying up your partner there. I don't know who that is, but you were tying him up pretty good, oh. and then you just froze. Okay, so this is Jake Matthews, one of our clients. Oh, hey, Jake. Long time no see. Are, are we yes, are we in there? Yeah, I think so. Yep. I yeah. guess might... You want to do one last thing? <clears throat> yeah, so I put it in the shade now. So actually, but instead of doing one last thing, let me just review a couple of quick things. Uh, sure. The first thing we did was uh, off of a backhand strike. I'm in my left hand. He throws a, a backhand strike, two, four, it doesn't matter. I block, check, shoot in low, and tie him up here with a puño. I can disarm him, or one of the things that I like to do is I'll actually switch here, grab here, and then I'm back to here, which is one of my favorites. Again, if we're doing it from here, you can do it just like you did the seven. You know, I come in here. I shoot in here, he blocks, checks, block. And if, if I uh, do an empty hand, he throws it to tier. It's the same lock with this arm. If we're doing trapping hands, same, right? And then, uh, <clears throat> then we did from here, if he throws here, I did left hand like a number two disarm, a feed, and a lock. Okay, so again, from here, uh, oh yeah, forgot what I was doing. Switch, feed, here, right? And if I have that, uh, was with the left hand diving and free hand. But if I keep the stick in that hand, right, and I do the exact same motion, right, here, the same lock. Right? So from here, see? That's the same motion as this. I just did this. So if you're having problems, that's one of the easiest things to do. So if we're here, he does a number two, and I want to do this. See? Well, when I get to here, right? Did you ever see this? I just put the stick in it. Now I got to figure out how I got there. What I did was this, right? 
So when you're having problems, if I want to do uh, this, these strikes here. So again, sticks in my left hand, block check, dive the right hand, and I'm here. Snake the right hand. Well, if I'm here, I take the right hand, feed with the left, and I still have to block. Right? Yeah, it's arm. That's fine. So the big thing is, I really, I, I'd love for you guys to take one of your favorite techniques. If it's with a stick, try it empty-handed or with a blade. If it's with a blade, do it with a stick. Obviously, the cutting part's not the same, but it, it's, it's close enough. Uh, if you have an empty-hand technique, try it with a stick. You guys have been in the seminars. know I used to do all the time with Jack. Uh, whatever he taught it, and I would try to apply it with a stick. Anyway, take your favorite technique. Um, or, or one that you try and post it on, on our Facebook page because I would really love to see it. If you have questions, if you're not sure, or how do you get into it from Tappy Tappy, uh, I'll be more than happy to help you. Anybody here will. The other thing you guys got to remember, one of the, what I think is the, that sets Filipino martial arts <clears throat> uh, head and shoulders above all the others. And, and I've taken, I've done a lot of different martial arts is that Every drill we do, every technique we do, we then apply it to a drill that has motion and movement into it. Because um, too many times the static one step sparring, but then there was never any movement in between, especially with the way Professor created Tappy Tappy. Tappy Tappy, honestly, the way he explained it with me, was an introduction to learning how to spar in a controlled manner. If you look at um, the regular striking martial arts, 85% of people quit after the first three months and that's usually right about when when sparring starts and they just <clears throat> they went from punching and blocking in the air to all of a sudden uh free sparring there was no in between maybe a one step so the 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 tappy tappy was was designed for that all right so i, I guess that's about it ty no, that's great. Th uh, thanks, Bruce. And sorry for the hassle on there, but uh, thanks for coming back and <laughs> sure to, to close up and, and review folks. Um, Bruce is really good. I mean, if you if you got any questions, he means what he says. Get keep in, get in touch with him. Um, he'll be glad to help you work with you. He's uh, he's a sharer for sure. Yeah, I might get back to you within 24 hours. Now, the other thing is, um, please go if you especially if you want to be informed of stuff, the Facebook and Instagram. I will tell you that uh, sometime. We're already planning for next year because this year's kind of shot. I know that uh, uh, Ray Dinaldo and I are planning something here in Florida. We're not, we don't have the exact uh, details set up, but I know we're going to be doing something. I, I'm, we're, we're hopefully the, the event in Jacksonville in October will still be going on this October. But we just don't know yet. But please reach out to me. I, I love nothing more than talking about this stuff. So, and first, I also, before I forget, please uh, send something. I don't know how you do it, but uh, but make sure you thank Ty for putting this on um, and uh, making me get up early on a Saturday. But I really do appreciate all the effort he does. Ty's a remarkable person because, and I, I, I'll be honest 100%, because everybody, I have an ego. Everybody has egos. He's one of the few people I know can honestly put his ego aside, learn from everyone, and it doesn't matter. All he wants to do is provide a forum for all of us to share and, and, and come together as friends. But uh, I do want to thank him for all of his efforts and especially for putting this on. So everybody stay safe. To hell with the six feet. Go kiss anybody you know. <laughs> <laughs>